KSH is the shell that OpenBSD uses by default. If you use Bash, it is a lot like that, except it has less features, and for it, it's a lot simpler and more lightweight. I could read all the code if I wanted to, and it wouldn't take a whole lifetime. I prefer it instead for that reason, and also, it's a lot more simple, so somebody can't embed malicious code in two places, one over here and one over there, that different developers maintain, and, uh, another thing, it teaches me to be clever, because I don't have a command for everything. I might have to use two or three commands somewhere, and it's a fun exercise to try to solve different computer problems with a smaller amount of tools. If you already know Bash, don't watch this video. You already know all the stuff. If you already know KSH, <coughs> this is just the intro to KSH and the special things about it. In nearly all Unix shells, the first word, which is something with a space in between it and others, is the command, like SSH or echo or I don't know, cat. Stuff like that. Those are all commands. Everything after that is either an option or an argument. Options are optional, and arguments are required. That's the only difference. People t use them interchangeably sometimes, but no, they aren't. There is a special type of option called a flag. Very occasionally it's an argument, but it's all a almost always an option. It starts with a dash. Like, for example, uh, cat-n will give you line numbers. It's an option. But cat also requires an argument, which is the file that you want to read from. I don't know, let's go and do... Potato, wonderful. I do not need that file. Here's another example. rm is the command, in is the argument. If I wanted to remove a directory, I would use the dash r flag, which is an option with the image board argument. <coughs> rm is a utility to delete files. Cat is a utility to figure out what is inside them. There is also a makedir utility, which is used to uh, create stuff. I don't know, maybe I want a directory called i. ls will show you what is inside your uh, current directory. ls-l, it will give you a big list with lots of fancy stuff. h will give it all in a human readable format for file sizes. A will show you. A will show you all the files. Hidden files in Unix are uh, prefaced with a dot, which means they got a dot in front. To get to those, or to see those, to see those, you use the ls-a argument. To get to those, you just do the file name like normal, putting a dot in front of it and all. We see I just made a directory called i, but I don't really have a use for it. It's good practice not to let your file system get it to get as cluttered as this. So I'm gonna go and do some uh, cleanup. You can remove files with just the rm utility, but you can't use rm with directories. You can either use rmdir or you can use rm-r. If you have a directory with a with a file in it, then rmdir won't work, but rm-r will. 
the command I just used there, echo greater than I slash A, is some of, one of the fancier things you can do. Echo is a utility to say whatever whatever argument you give it. <coughs> or whatever arguments. It'll strip a whole bunch of stuff from it and you'll get it just fine. In Echo, or and all other Linux utilities, you can put a space around it. Like, for example, you can make a dir i a, and then that'll separate it, so that you can separate your words. For example, sorry, uh, in Maker, if you put in multiple arguments, or I suppose it's an argument and then an option, with no flags, it will give you uh, the desired effect with two different directories. It'll create both of them. Same thing with RM and a lot of other file manipulation utilities. In effect, it, it's actually all of them that we've covered. Cat, LS, RM, Maker, RMDIR. They work really well. And they work so well, they do it with everything they can. In Unix, there's no official way to create a file. Some people will say it's with the touch command, but if you run that on a file that's already there, it'll work just fine. All it does is it updates the timestamp on it to the current date. It'll create files too, but that's just because it has to make a file in order for there to be a specific date on it. The way I like to make files is just to use the echo command, a greater than, and then the file name. What, you might be asking? Shouldn't that print a uh, greater than and an A? Well, the greater than is a bit special. It, it separates commands so that they run independent of each other. Semicolon is the most basic one of those. It will just uh, separate the two arguments, or sorry, it'll just separate these things as if you put it all on a new line. What, what did I just do? It will separate them as if you put them on a new line, like that. As if you put the each part on its own line. The pipe is another example of that. Cat will take uh, a cat dash will take whatever you give it and give it back to you. Just as if instead of a dash you had put the file with the contents you input into it. Dash is a fancy way of saying use standard input instead of a file. 
standard input is the input into the program once you run it. Sorry for going too fast. If you want a good tutorial, use somebody else's. One way of uh, something you can do is echo some, some string into cat dash and it'll act just as if you put the stuff before the pipe, which is this character, into that command as standard input, which is what you type into it once you run it. That's what the pipe does. It just chains commands together. If you use a greater than, it's a lot like a pipe, except instead of uh, putting it into another command, it puts it into a file. See? We just put echo into A. And echo without anything else gives you nothing. So, it'll fill up the file A and uh, it echo greater than A will fill up the file A with nothing except for an enter that's what makes it my favorite way of doing it it allows you to chain multiple commands together and that's the beauty of the shell if you don't find a tutorial that gives you that extent of knowledge, find a different one and keep learning. It's an important utility, and even if you don't get it all right away, it'll benefit you in the long run. Happy Unixing.